All right. Hello, everyone. I'm putting this in our... There we go. There, so you can see me. Look, here's Max. Max is my cameraman tonight because my husband is not feeling very well. So we are doing a Friday night freestyle, and this is going to be a little on the interesting side because, like I said, Kevin isn't feeling well. He's got some... Hi, Dana. He's got some allergy issues going on. And so Max is going to be my cameraman. Uh, Jack is going to be the person that's giving me the questions as they come up. Hi, Alice. Hi, Crazy J. Um, and Miles is going to be like my sous chef. So he's going to be helping me get stuff prepped. So um, I'm going to take you over. I'm going to show you. We're making a Euro salad tonight. Hi, Colette. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I already made the meat. So basically what you're gonna to see tonight is how I make a tzatziki dressing and the salad, but I will tell you what I put in the meat. Now, I wanted to get lamb, but lamb is super expensive. <laughs> so, hi, love and life. Um, we went with ground uh, chuck instead, and I'm resting right now. Am I in the shot? Yeah, you're in the shot. So this has, um, this is ground chuck, and then I put Greek seasoning in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to link the recipe for the Greek seasoning, because that's really sometimes hard to find. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you the recipe that I did in the description below, I'll put that down. But I made my own. So it pretty much has like basil and oregano and garlic and onion powder and um, rosemary. I had to use fresh rosemary because I didn't have any all the good um, stuffs. I didn't have any uh, dried rosemary. And then I also used fresh thyme in it also. And then it had, let me think, gosh, dill in it and salt and pepper and what else did it have in it? What else? Greek uh, seasoning. It, yeah, it's called Greek seasoning, but I made my own. And like I said, I'll, link, I'll put it in the description bar down below um, what I used and how I made it. Um, and it had all spice in it too. That's the other thing that it had in it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I make tzatziki sauce. So I can throw the bowl out. And then um, we're also going to, and I need my colander because we're going to have to drain our cucumber. So, um, but we're going to start with um, the cucumber and I'm going to uh, peel this and then I'm going to cut it in half because I only need half of the cucumber for the tzatziki sauce and tzatziki sauce is that white sauce that you get on a gyro. Now I just had the vegetable powder. Where did it go? Oh, we'll have to use this guy. So, um, so we, my family really likes this and it is, uh, this is a new recipe so you get to see our reaction to it the first time that we try it. So this should be fun. But um, if you guys have any questions for me, please put them in capital letters so Jack can see them and he will Me too, out. Thomas Spicer. What did he say? He said, I'm hello, I'm hungry. Oh, he's hungry? Okay, well, he joined us just in time. So we're, we're making dinner right now, and it's uh, a Greek gyro salad, so it's what we're, we're making. So my family likes gyros, but we're trying to stay away from the gluten because it makes my husband all itchy. So um, it makes his eczema um, flare up. So we're gonna take the cucumber peels and we're gonna put them in a compost bucket here. And then we're gonna split this in half. And um, make sure you say hi to people too, guys, as they come in, because I can't see them. I'm trying to move. Okay, well you can actually say it vocally, say it. Oh, I can? Yeah. Really? So, I thought I was just gonna have to type everything. What we're gonna do is because you don't want a whole lot of liquid in your tzatziki sauce, is we're going to scrape out the seeds of the cucumbers. And all you have to do is take a spoon and do this and get all that out. And then we'll, I'm sorry, I'm left-handed, so I might I might be in the way. <laughs> mm, you're good. But, so. so scrape all of that out. So it looks like that. So it looks like a little boat. And again, we'll just put those in our compost bucket to go out to our compost pile. Are you scraping out the cucumbers? I'm scraping out the seeds on the inside. So oh, that's kind of cool. Miles here, let's get these in there. 
you're kind of in the way of the camera. Yeah, you're Sorry. definitely in the way. All right, so there you go. So that's that. Now, um, we are going to take half of this cucumber and we're going to braid it up. Because hey, we want it super fine. Yes, baby. This one passed a while, but Danny69 said, I used to Z T O M on my green turkey burgers. Oh, okay. Honey, you gotta move. You're in the shot. I, I will let you know when I need your help, okay? Alright, so that sounds good. What we're gonna do is we're going to grate up. Yeah, that's that does sound good. We're gonna grate up the cucumber here. Hi my revival. We are making a Greek Euro salad right now. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Alright, and we're just going to grate this up. I just dropped the piece. Alright, I'm telling you it's easier to go this way with it than to try to go flat ways on the, the grater with it. So, just so you know, when you've taken all the seeds out of your cucumbers, oops, and try not to grate your fingers down into it. Because nobody wants essence of tether in their in their tzatziki sauce so all right so we're gonna take this now and i have a flour sack cloth and i'm going to put it over my bowl here and what we're going to do is we're going to press out as much juice as we can out of this so put that in there going to wring it out get it really really dry you'll be surprised at like how much water comes out or not water but juice will come out of this all right and we're just going to set that aside for right now and we're going to dump it into the bowl bowl If I can find the end, we're going to dump it into the bowl. <laughs> Alright. So there we go. Now, we are going to take... Uh, Miles, this is where I need you. Can you get the Greek yogurt out of the refrigerator for me? Because I forgot to get it. Wait, are euros Greek? Euros are... It's kind of like how pizza's Italian. Euros are kind of an Americanized um, version of like Greek food. No, I need the Greek yogurt. There's actual Greek yogurt in there. So if you could grab that for me, that would be fantastic. So um, while Miles is finding that, let me find my, there it is, my microplane. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and put our garlic into our, um, our uh, the uh, yeah, cucumbers right here. And I don't peel my garlic because with the microplane, I don't have to. All of the, you can see all the peels coming up here. Put the Greek, yeah, thank you. Okay. And that way it just leaves that little nub and anything that flakes off, it's gonna flake off on the top. And then all your garlic's down here. So you can see that there. So let me know guys if the cam camera angles are okay, if Max needs to move anything, because this is his first time actually filming me live, so. I've never been a this. cameraman before. Yeah, but I'm just gonna grade this up. So if you have any questions for me, like I said, leave them in capital letters and Jack will read them out. Jack, you gotta make sure you read them out if you see them, okay? All right, so this is gonna be four cloves of garlic here. I actually got, it's one, two, three, four, a little extra in there that I don't need. And the other thing about having the paper still on the garlic is it keeps me from microplaning my thumb, which is kind of nice because I actually have done that before. They don't feel good. Essence of mom. And yeah, that's not cooking the wood, leaving a little bit of love. That's just leaving part of your. Oh! Did you <laughs> just, grade your finger? No, I just flung the garlic everywhere though. The paper yeah. came off. Well, so, well, wow. This is what happens when you cook live. I can't edit out things like that. Um. Yes, honey. Ruth Maxwell says, you're doing a great job, cameraman. 
Oh, oh good job, Max. Turtle emoji. Thank you. All right. So this is our turtle emoji. Oh, turtle emoji. Turtle emoji. There's a turtle emoji. Yep. You knew there was a turtle emoji. I actually did not know that there was a turtle emoji. There's a turtle. Whoosh. Mind blown. So this is our last. So, so far this week, our family has been, we've had like allergy problems mm -hmm. because down here, like there's a lot of, uh, it's kind of starting to become allergy season. Like right now, my voice is a little stuffy because my nose is stuffed. Um, and that's one of the reasons why dad's not feeling good. Yeah, yeah poor daddy is. So... He's, he's under the weather right now because he's got horrible, horrible allergy stuff going on. And I don't know about where you guys live, but in Ohio, like, it goes in spurts. Like, allergy season just isn't the spring. Like, you know, there's times in it's the... year-round. The um, summer that it happens, fall is really bad, too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take Greek yogurt, and I'm going to put two cups of this. And like I said, I will put the recipe down in the description box for everything here so if you guys want to make this love and life it's been a while since but i didn't want to interrupt you she said do you do anything with your cucumber water we pour it over chicken thighs and then lemon pepper and bake no i didn't know bake. you could that do that that sounds really that good that sounds good it does sound good okay that, thank you for the idea. We'll have to do that. So I've got two cups, two cups about ish, of Greek yogurt here. We're gonna dump that in here. I agree, my revival. Allergies are rough. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so we're letting we're letting Daddy sleep right now, and while we're doing this. So yeah. um, all right. So let me look at my recipe. Yeah, I've got it all written down. So here's my recipe. So, um, see, I've got the garlic already in there. I've got, okay, I need the dill. So my dill, okay, Max, my dill is in the refrigerator. It's in a plastic bag and it's wrapped up in um, a paper towel. So I'm gonna kind of move some stuff around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull off, since I'm chopping my um, my herbs right now. Here's your dill. All right, so, wow. I'm going to go ahead and pull off. This is mint. I'm not going to use a whole lot of mint because you don't want it super duper minty. Did we um, plant that or did we buy yeah, that? Yeah, this is our mint that we planted. So Sweet. just going to do a few leaves of that. But I need a third of a cup of dill. So that's quite a bit of dill. The dill we did not plant. No, my dill, I did plant some. And the, the dill isn't doing well this year. The, well, it's because the stupid squirrels. squirrels. All right, so we're just going to cut that off and then that can go in our compost that's a lot of dill yep well it calls for a third of a cup so what we're going to do Not pickles. is we're going to take this and we're just going to roll it up in with our dough and then we're just going to shred it i love the smell of dill it just it smells like pickles and i love pickles so so if you don't like pickles, you probably won't like the smell of dill, but, and then we're going to just twist it and we're going to run our knife through it again. And then we're going to turn it and then run our knife through it again. Alright. We're going to throw that in there. Alright. And let's see, what is next? Alright, lemon juice. So, my, this lemon is kind of hard, so if you have that issue with a lemon being just like super hard, you can take it and roll it under your hand. Oops, preferably on a cutting board that usually I put a wet paper towel under it, but I forgot to do that. So, uh, hey Miles, can you give me a give me a couple of wet paper towels that I can put under? Oh, we the don't have the lemon squeezer anymore, do we? We do, but I don't usually use it. But you roll it in your hand. Now, if that doesn't work and it's still super hard, you can pop it in the microwave for about. I don't know, 10 seconds to throw that away for me. And that will, this one's starting to loosen up a little bit. So that will help with um, with your lemon being too hard to roll. Here, just hand me that, sweetie. That's good. Okay. So we're going to unfold this. And this is a trick, actually, that um, Jose de Jesus, um, Angela's husband, told me about on, well, if I can get it apart, on um, one of our live streams one time. He's a chef. He said if you take a wet paper towel 
and you stick it under your cutting board. But your cutting board's not, well, well my cutting board's not quite level, I guess. It'll keep it from your wobbling. Your cutting board is a little warped. Yeah, so actually what we're gonna do is underneath that, we're going to put just a towel. Leave that there, leave that there. Mm. So that way it doesn't go anywhere when I'm cutting stuff. So. And we're gonna go ahead. And since all of this stuff is going into um, the dry seat anyway, I'm not going to wipe off my cutting board. There's no, no point in that. When I go to make the salad, I will, but this here, there's just no point in it because all of this is going into that bowl. So now that my cutting board is not going anywhere, I can, whoop, <laughs> I can roll the lemon and we're just going to squeeze that into this here. I always squeeze my lemon, lemon side up, so that way I don't get any seeds into it. So you're looking for about, I don't know, like a tablespoon full? Mom, I forget. Have we lemons. had these before? We have not. We've had chicken ears, and then I stick my finger down into every little hole there and just squish it. Oh, well, got lemon juice. And then I'll squeeze it into my hand like that. But that first squeeze, a lot of times you'll get lemon seeds and you'll want those. All right, so now can you find me the salt, please, Miles? We're gonna put some cracked black, black pepper in this. And then we're gonna let it sit while we make our, um, while we make our uh, salad. And our salad's gonna be super easy. It's not difficult at all. That's pepper, honey, I need salt. Salt is the white stuff. Max is right there by you. we're going to put some salt in it and we might have to adjust the salt level um, once um, once we've got everything mixed in I'm just going to take my spoon that I got the um, the yogurt out with we're just going to mix this up that looks really good it does look really good have we eaten this sauce before it looks familiar we have we've had it on chicken euros oh that makes sense Okay. So I'm going to take a spoon and taste it. Actually, I'm going to take a fork because none of my spoons are clean. They're right here, Mom. Oh. That's good. That's going to need a little bit more salt, though, I think. That is good. Um, can you get me the, find the other salt. I need the salt that I can use. I can pour in my hand and then. That does look good. It's right there, Miles, up on the shelf. Good. Up on the shelf. Up on the shelf. The shelf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. So. Warmer. 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 Yeah. warmer. So we're going to let this sit for a little while. And, and we're going to let the flavors kind of meld together. And I'm going to let it sit at room temperature um, because I think it'll just do better at room temperature than if it's in the refrigerator. And it's actually not going to be set in, like, too super long. So are so. we going to be using the lettuce heads for the uh, kind for of the, the salad? For the salad? Yeah. Okay. So I thought um, we were going to use it as My the, boys uh, love lemons, so I'm going to let them fight over this other half of a lemon. Me. No. Uh. And um, can you throw that away? Because if I remember correctly, citrus doesn't go in your breakfast pile. But I may be wrong on that. And can you rinse that off for me? Yep. All right. So do we have any questions for me as Max is rinsing off my cutting board and as I'm getting ready to start something else? Any questions? Any questions? I have a question. Yes. Um, what's the next step? That's just the obvious. Well, the next step is question. we're going to make the salad. So, um, Ooh, salad. Max, can you take this, put it in the... Thing and then um, put that away. Yes, okay. So we're gonna go and we're gonna cut up the lettuce. So I've got romaine lettuce here. I'm just gonna wipe off my knife because, like I said, it just had lemon juice and um, and um, shoot, lemon juice and dill on it. Didn't have any meat or anything like that. If it was meat, I would change out cutting boards and I would change the knife. So, um, but we're just going to cut up the lettuce. We're just using romaine here. You can use whatever kind you want, whatever you have. Now you can take this 
And you can actually put it in water and it'll sprout and you can plant that. So one more little slice, just so it knows. That's how we made our, uh, that's how we um, planted our um, uh, lettuce last year. Yep. And then I'm just gonna run my knife across it again, kind of cube it up a little bit. And then we're gonna put it in our ginormous salad bowl. Here, bud, take that. All right. Okay. And we actually may need more lettuce in this, so if you could get it out and wash it, that would be great, bud. Okay. So again, just run your knife across it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep those, and I think I'm gonna have the boys start some starting so lettuce for you. How many more heads do you need? Probably those three. We'll we'll need those. Okay. And then this is our last one. And when you're doing, like, always wash your vegetables. Um, you know, make sure that they don't have any gross stuff, you know, because there's so many people that got sick from spinach or lettuce or whatever. Always wash it. Don't just throw it in here and think it's going to be okay. All right. This is look so super hot, so we'll throw that out. Here you go. That holds a lot of Turn it the other way and it'll drain a little better. Okay. All right. And Max, we wash the tomatoes for me too. Now, the tomatoes I'm not going to put in the salad because my husband doesn't particularly care for tomatoes. So um, we'll leave those out separate. And the kids can just throw them in as they want them. I can taste this already. It's going to be awesome. You can taste this already? Yeah. All right. Taste in the air. It does, you can kind of like smell it almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the boys were wanting to know what I was cooking because it smelled like Katie's rosemary bread that she oh made. Oh my gosh, yeah. And it, that's not what it was, it was actually the meat that was cooking. So. You made a video on the rosemary bread? Yes, we have. It's delicious and yeah. we should make it again. Oh, yeah. No, you need to convince Katie to do that. Yeah. So we're getting, uh, I mean, this is going to have a lot of lettuce in it, but that's okay because this can be a base salad for just about any other salad that I make. And we're doing a lot of those lately. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then Max just put the lemon in his water bottle. That's that shaking noise that you heard. Yep. Um, Max, give me another. I think we're going to need another cucumber, okay? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slice up this cucumber. And put that in our salad too. Um, they're down in the very bottom. They're in a um, they're in the bottom drawer. And when you're cutting, always remember to curl your fingers under when you're holding your whatever you're cutting, so that way you don't nick the tips of your fingers. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel that cucumber too. Max, did I, where did I, oh, put that chocolate up here. Never mind. I'm going to peel it and de-seed it. So it looks like, oh, look, I found my other vegetable peeler. It's sitting by the other one. I like this guy better. So this is my, um, what was it? It's, I guess it's OXO or X, XOX. Um, it's a vegetable peeler, and I, I love it. It's got a great big handle on it. Um, I don't particularly care for the ones where the peelers kind of, like the handle's like right here, um, but this one's a really good one because I like the grip that I can get on it. Because I remember using those. Does anybody remember those old-fashioned vegetable peelers that were metal? My grandmother had them, and it was like those things. If you had to peel a lot of vegetables, which you know sometimes you did because when we would have family gatherings, you know my mom's family wasn't small. She's one of six. Oh yeah. And so there were, you know, her siblings. And then their spouses, so that's 12, and then my grandparents, which is uh, 14, and then 11 grandchildren. So um, that was always, <laughs> you know, a lot of vegetables that needed to be peeled. 25 people. Yeah, in one little house. Max can attest to how small my grandmother's house is, but you know what? That house, house always had love in it. And it didn't feel so small when everyone was there because everyone pretty much got along with each other. And also... There was a lot of playing outside that happened. Oh, yeah. Lots so. of playing outside. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the compost bucket. Gotcha. There we go. We're going to slice these up. And then we're going to do a red onion. Um, 
and put it in here and just kind of slice it about the same thickness that we're slicing the um, cucumbers here. Because if you think about a gyro, a gyro usually has like cucumber on it. It may have lettuce, but a lot of times it doesn't. It has really thin sliced cucumbers and red onions and then the tzatziki sauce on it. So, and my kids love cucumbers, so like it's the, the more the better usually. Yes, I can totally do a video on my marinades. Now I can tell you, like there are sometimes, like I, like I'll make the marinade from scratch, but there are some times where I've used a bottle of salad dressing before. So um, if you're not not super great at making a marinade, it, that's an easy way to do. Or if you need something quick and easy, that's a quick and easy way to do it. So when I do my onions, I cut the the top end off and I leave the root intact. And then what I do is we're going to just peel the, peel this off. And then that you, that you can hold on to. So that's, I've taught actually my daughter that so that she doesn't, when she's trying to mince onions, that way your hands away from the knife and you can still hold on to it. But you can hold on to the root end and we're going to just thinly slice these onions here. And then that way, as you can see, your fingers are already curled back, so you won't chop anything off because you need those. So we're going to put the red onion in here. This is a pretty big salad, so we'll probably put... We've got some red onions in the refrigerator. Yeah, but they're, they're diced and not chopped. Oh, okay. They're, yeah, they're, they're diced and not sliced. So, so again, we're just going to go down the center like that. And then just slice it really thin. Now, how is it that that other half did not burn my eyes? And this one is making my eyes water something awful? I don't know. Okay, so. Usually the first half is bad, for me at least. All right, so there is our salad. And Miles, Max, you watch these. But can you put these in a little bowl for me? So come around this way. And I'm going to need you to drain the olives for me too, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, um, yeah, you can drain it in there. Woo! That onion is strong. Oh my gosh. Um, Here, Max, I'm... why don't you give one of these to Mr. Pants? Mr. Pants. So we're gonna give the rabbit one of the lettuce cores. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sprout these right now. I'm not gonna hang on to them, um, just because we're trying to get stuff to grow in our garden, and I'm not sure I want to put anything else in until I'm sure that they're growing. So. Um, so yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out my knife and my cutting board because I'm getting ready to slice up the meat. So Max, take this and put that in the sink for me, please. Yeah. We're going to grab out the cutting board and a different knife. So this meat has been resting. And it kind of looks like a little meatloaf. It looks so good. And um, go turn on my uh, my uh, cast iron pan. Turn on to medium. Because what we're going to do is we're going to try to crisp it up a little bit. So we're going to just slice it super thin. And I'm kind of doing it a little bit at an angle. So what I did with this meat is I actually, um, to get meat like they have on a gyro, which is kind of really compact, uh, you actually have to make almost a meat paste out of this. And so I ran it through. Um, you can do it in your food processor, but my food processor bowl is uh, broken. All right, my knife is not so sharp, so let me get my serrated knife. This one uh, so um, I just, I actually put it in my KitchenAid mixer. And um, it worked out. It worked out really well. I just kind of beat it till it was kind of like a paste. And then I took it 
And I, you know what? Turn the turn the thing off because we're not going to need to. Not the not the video. Mm -hmm. um, turn the the cast iron can off. Yay! So um, it's it's cutting, and I uh, took it in plastic wrap and I rolled it really really tight to get the meat really compacted, and then I baked it in the oven. So it's kind of like a hamburger a little bit, but it's got the spicing of a gyro. So we're just gonna cut that, and then we're just gonna we're gonna put it over our salads. That looks so good. You want to try a piece of it, bud? Yeah, it oh, tastes yeah. good enough. Okay, here, share that piece with your brothers, okay? It tastes good enough. You might have to make a meatloaf. A <laughs> green meatloaf? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, we get we get more than this. They're, they're fighting over how much they get. Oh. Uh, how's it taste, boys? That's so good. You need to make a meatloaf okay. out of this. So this is, this is the first time that they're ever having this. So I was, I was a little <laughs> intimidated about their reaction, what their reaction was going to be. Oh, that's so good. So, uh, yeah, so I, I baked it in the oven. And now this is ready. Let's get a plate. And we'll play it up. Right. Make so, it look all fancy and spiffy. All fancy and spiffy. Um, are my, where are my songs? Um, We're in real life once the kids here. make it. Up. All right. So I'm going to put the meat back on the plate that it was on. And that way they can just take a few pieces of it. And Max is going to toss up the salad for us. So let's put this on the table next, okay? Miles, just have the olives. All right, because we have to save some for everyone else. So we're going to take this over to the table. I'll take the. No, yeah, don't touch. And then we're going to plate up the salad. A few of the olives on here, and then a few tomatoes on here too, and then we'll put the sauce on. So, just a little bit of the sweet sauce. All right, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip us around here. So Max is going to try it with me. So. Yes, I am. It's a little warm in this kitchen right now. Woo! <laughs> okay. So, oh, uh, wait. Somebody said thanks. Something to email. Jack, are you paying attention, honey? Um, Angela DeJesus, Angela D said thanks. What's your email? Oh, oh, oh we'll give it uh, info at goingbaddy at gmail.com. So, we're going to give it a bite. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's super good. <laughs> that's really good. Okay. So I'm going to sit down at the computer. Max, you can um, you can turn the camera this way. Yeah. So um, now you boys can go get something to eat. Remember to save some for your daddy. So, I missed anything. 
so everybody, I'm going to put everything down for a second. And... Yeah, we're going to eat. So Tom and Spicer said that we're going to eat good tonight. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about the recipe that I made, um, go ahead and ask them so I can see them now. Um, but yeah, this is this is really simple, really easy. Like the, the meat had to cook for about 60 minutes. I had two pounds of ground beef. But again, I will put everything in the description below so that you guys can see it. Hey, Maxine, you looked it up a little bit because you're cutting the top of our heads off. Yep. So, yeah. Sorry. But, let's see. Um, oh, that's, I, I'm reading off-grade mustache. That's actually one of our sons. And so, it says, please let me have some, Mommy. <laughs> All right. Boss, I should have done talking. So, um, yeah, so if there's not any any more questions, you're not going to need ranch dressing, son. I'm not Okay. But, um, hi, Rosalie. We are making, um, it is a gyro salad is what we made. So it's everything that's in a gyro without the feed bread. So, um, it looks like a perfect meal for all the heat that everyone is dealing with. Yeah. It got now. Granted, in Ohio, it doesn't get as hot as, say, like, Texas. Texas. And Colorado was really hot, too. Um, it's It's been, in like, in the high 80s, almost 90s here. And um, so I know that, like, for you, you people in hotter climates, you're like, wow. <laughs> but for us, that's rather warm for us. Yeah. Our cousin, um, you have to, you can't, you can't talk with your mouth for a um, yeah, so this is this has been a, but really, this is a surprise. I'm surprised that this is as good as it is. And I'm always like a little wary of like ah! doing something live on camera that we've never eaten before. <laughs> so, um, in Colorado, it was 105 yesterday. It's 90, 96. Well, you're having a cool snap. 96 from 105. That's 10 degrees, almost 10 degrees cooler. Yep. Um, so. Uh, last, uh, I think last year, mm -hmm. our cousins from Texas came over to visit us, mm -hmm. um, and I saw one of them out, they were putting on a sweatshirt, and it was like 70 degrees out, 70 something degrees out, I'm like, why are you putting on a sweatshirt? And she's like, because it's cold, it's like 70 degrees out, I'm like, wow. For us, when it hits 50, that's short weather. But yeah, it's, uh, that's when you start wearing yeah. shorts. It was, it's supposed to be 76 tomorrow. I can't wait. Um, Jamie, where are you from? Colorado. Because, well, or Texas. I don't know. Right, it would be 76 in Texas now. Um, because that kind of sounds like some of the weather that we have in the Midwest, where you have, it'll be close to 90 one day, and then it'll be like in the mid 70s the next day. And um, let's see. Oh, in Colorado, right by Tyler and Mike. Wow, that is a significant temperature drop. You guys might need to watch out for tornadoes. That's what always happens here when um, when the when the temperature like fluctuates like that. We always have problems. We haven't had. I mean, we're not like Kansas or Oklahoma where they have a whole lot of touchdowns. We have a lot of the warnings. Yeah. Um, but if anywhere's going to watches. Ready. But rarely do we have, in my lifetime, we've had three tornadoes. Um, there was a big one. Well, not my, this is the year my brother was born, and he's older than I am. Um, there was a big one in uh, the Virginia and um, in the 70s, and then there was one in the 90s um, when I was working as a florist. I did a couple of funerals for that one. But, um, yeah, so that, that weird weather fluctuation is just crazy sometimes, and and it's funny because when we lived in Maryland, Maryland doesn't get tornadoes yeah. ever that, that anyone that I knew of could remember. And we moved into this neighborhood, and we kept hearing tornado sirens go off. Every week they went off. And for the life of me, I could not figure out what they were. I kept telling the kids, run to the basement, run to the basement. And I finally asked somebody that lived in the neighborhood, and they're like, oh, that's what they used to call the volunteer firemen. 
And I'm going to... <laughs> I feel really stupid now. <laughs> We're hiding in the bunker. Like, we don't have tornadoes. And I'm like, you know, that's what we... That's what in Ohio they use to tell you there's a tornado coming. So, yeah. Um, we are northeast Colorado. And for sure see tornadoes this time of year. Yeah, okay. But, all right. So, um... I don't really have anything else. So, if you guys... Do you have any questions for the boys? Um, Jack and Miles are getting ready to go to Boy Scout camp after we come Miles home. Miles is? Not Miles. Jack and Matt. I, I have four kids. And, and a dog, and a cat, and a rabbit. It's hard for you to keep all the animals. Um, it's just the um, so. I'm not a lot of rabbits for a while, technically. Mm -hmm. I hate summer weather, thank God. I can grow tomatoes this summer. Um, it's the only thing worthwhile <laughs> about summer. <laughs> oh! Where's Cher? She's from New Mexico. Hi, Cher from New Mexico. Um, I miss what dressing you made. I made a tzatziki dressing, so it has um, it has cucumbers. I grated cucumbers. I put garlic in it, Greek yogurt, um, a little bit of mint, some dill, some salt and pepper, and that is tzatziki sauce. So. That's what is um, on our salad. Mm. Yeah. Yes, it's very good. <laughs> the meat is very good. Mom. Yeah, the kids really like the meat. The, um, my boys are manly men. Manly men. They, they're very carnivores. They love the meat. I had a burger yesterday that had double bacon. Not uno bacon. <laughs> both bacon. Oops. I must have hit the camera. Hold. You're fine, sweetie. You're fine. No, no. We keep bumping the table. Yeah, Kevin took us out for dinner last night. We haven't been out for dinner in uh, six so months. Just, like sit together as a family and not in a while. Well, like sit down dinner at a restaurant. Yeah. So and that was kind of nice. So mm -hmm. that was good. Um, let's see. Thirty-nine degrees here with fifty percent humidity feels like ninety. Uh, I'm sorry, ninety-three degrees here feel, with fifty percent humidity feels like. Uh, 98 is going to be worse Saturday and Sunday. Ugh. Yeah. We have high humidity here. Uh, that's one of those things where it may not get super hot here. Like, rarely do we have, you know, once or twice a year we'll have 100 degree days. But it'll be like 100 degrees with like 80% humidity. And it's like, oh my gosh, the air sticks to you when you walk outside. You're like, ah! Yeah, it's, once, once that happens, our room is like a um, indoor human oven. Yeah, it's a sauna. It's yeah. a, it, we, we just need to add a little cup of water. We got a cup of water. We got a sauna. We got a sauna, man. <laughs> we should do that. Yeah. My daughter wants to be a vegetarian when she was nine. She changed her mind quickly when she realized hamburgers was off the menu. <laughs> we'll have a lot of big meat eater here, too. Yeah. Um, they hate the heat love the spring, yes, Alicia. Um, yes, the humidity kill, kills you in the Cincy area. Feels like you're breathing water. Yes, it does. I mean, and we had a day last week where, and I'm not sure how this happens, where there can be 100% humidity and it not rain. Like, I'm like, is it 100% humidity rain? But yeah. like, I can tell you, though, that my hair gets super frizzy on those days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Danny. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Yeah, it's it's not a whole lot of fun. That, those are the days that you want to go to the pool because like the yeah. only relief from that is getting in the pool and just kind of at least you're floating in something cool. Yeah. This rains, and then you have to get out of the pool, and then you have to wait 30 minutes to get back in the pool, and then it rains again. Oh yeah. And then you have to get back out of the pool for a minute. Unless okay. you're in an indoor pool. So all right, guys. Well, that is our um. Friday night free style. It's a little shorter than normal, but it's okay. Um, like I said, keep Kevin in your prayers. He's got some really bad allergy issues that I think might be turning into like a summer head cold, which is not good for him. Um, but just, yeah, just pray for him. And um, you guys, you have a great weekend. More updates as we go. Bye. You end the video with a little X, right? You, yeah. Oh. Bye, everyone. And then You're click off end. Now. Yeah, hit end.